This is the hope that stem cells provide. Regenerating damaged cells could help us rebuild ourselves from the inside out. through my trunk. The first things I noticed after my second injection were that my hands got really warm. Just my hands. They got really warm. It was almost as if like they were growing. It was, really, it was a strange feeling. Um, and right after that, I started to be able to do open and close my hands. And then I was able to make a fist for the first time in 20 years. On the tiny island republic of Singapore, stem cell science is also driving the biotech boom. The government-built Biopolis is home to some of the biggest names in the biomed business. And it's this high-tech hub that's attracting scientists from around the world. Dr. Alan Coleman, the scientist renowned for cloning Dolly the sheep, has relocated to Singapore, where he is now pursuing embryonic stem cell research. Researchers should be pursuing all these options simultaneously because there are advantages to embryonic stem cells. There are also a, a, a major advantages to using adult stem cells. One of the uh, great advantages of working with embryonic stem cells essentially is they, they go on forever. Embryonic stem cells emerge in the first seven days of the embryo's development. They have the power to divide and become all the cells of the human body. However, removing the whole of the inner cell mass from an embryo means it no longer has the potential to become a human being. And this is why embryonic stem cell research has become the subject of moral debate. The issue of um, whether it's uh, moral to use um, embryos for the type of research I do, I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable on the basis mainly uh, that we are using uh, spare, if you like, uh, IVF embryos, embryos which are destined for destruction and we feel that the use that we want to put them to is a worthwhile and a, a defensible use that's curing uh, illness in humans. Mm -hmm. 